Season 10 last episode aired with six couples married and one shocking split. Here is what to expect from the upcoming tell-all. 90 Day Fiance Season 10 ended, and it is finally time for tell-all, which leaves many wondering what will play out during these segments. The first 90 Day Fiance Season 10 episode aired on October 8, 2024, introducing six new couples and one returning pair, Jasmine Panita and Gino Palasolo from 90 Day Fiance. Before the 90 days, after the highs and lows each couple faced throughout the season, six couples married, with one shocking couple calling it quits. Sungdo Nick Ham and Devin Hoofman were the first to marry. The last 90 Day Fiancé episodes, 17 and 18, showed Jasmine and Gino's wedding, as well as Citra Harani and Sam Wilson's union. The last episode, titled Happily Ever Afters, aired on February 25, showed Ashley Michelle's rainy beach wedding to Manuel Velez, Rob Warren, and Sophie Sierra's moment, Annalie Valijos, and Clayton Clark's nuptials, and Annalie's dad's reaction to the marriage news. Therefore, there will be a lot to catch up on during 90 Day Fiancé Season 10 Tell All When It Airs. Ashley is a professional witch and tarot reader specializing in shadow work. However, this didn't help her during her 90 Day Fiancé journey with Manuel. Ashley accused Manuel of being controlling and picky, something she wasn't okay with. Manuel no longer wanted Ashley to continue her witch career and was unhappy with her pet sleeping in their bed. The Ecuadorian native constantly overstepped during their relationship. He expected Ashley to support his family financially and had issues with her spending money on herself. Ashley and Manuel had countless fights over finances, which resulted in Ashley's cookie cleansing rituals to dry out bad energy around her. During the February 25 episode teaser, Ashley is seen asking if she can burn sage on the 90-day fiancé season 10 tell-all set. The cast agreed with Gino jokingly, asking her to drive the bad energy from him. Hopefully, Ashley's burning sage and other rituals have helped keep Manuel's demands under control. And he no longer expects her to send money to his family in Ecuador. Igor Shutenkov, a.k.a. Justin, and Nicole Sanders, a.k.a. Nikki Exotica, went their separate ways with Justin breaking up with her over text two weeks after Nikki's return from Moldova. The 90-day fiancé viewers looked forward to seeing Nikki and Justin walk down the aisle as their relationship seemed fine throughout the seasons, but things went south quickly. Before the breakup text, Nikki and Justin had a heated argument about the same issues they had since the beginning. Money and Justin not having a real job since she'd been supporting him the whole time. The 90-day fiancé cameras captured Nikki sobbing uncontrollably after reading the message, leaving the audience questioning whether Nikki and Justin have reconciled. Nikki previously didn't tell Justin she was a trans woman, and when she did, Justin didn't take it too well via 90-day fiancé. Nonetheless, there are clues that Nikki and Justin might have reconciled after the abrupt end of their relationship. Jasmine and Gino's relationship will go down in history as one of the most dramatic stories in the 90 Day Fiancé franchise. With the constant arguments, trust issues, and explosive moments, it's hard to know what to expect from Jasmine, who barely minces her words. Gino had a bachelor party at a strip club days before Jasmine's arrival in the U.S. Jasmine was mad as he had kept it a secret, which led to trust issues between them, with Jasmine accusing him of cheating after she found lip gloss in his car. In the 90-day fiancé tell-all teaser trailer, Jasmine and Gino will address the bachelor party, and it seems like she will find out more shocking details that he hid from her. In the preview, 90-day fiancé viewers saw Jasmine angrily expressing her disappointment in Gino before storming out of the set crying and was later comforted by Nikki. However, the couple seems to still be together after appearing in the trailer of 90-day fiancé, Happily Ever After, Season 8. Brandy, Clayton's sister, almost ruined his wedding after bringing a stripper to Annalie's bachelorette party. Clayton had set rules for Anneli, stating he didn't want strippers to be in attendance. Clayton was livid when he learned that Brandy still brought strippers, leading to a huge argument a day before their wedding. Anneli questioned whether marrying him was worth it, via 90 Day Fiancé. The 90 Day Fiancé couple will address the stripper situation with Brandy at the tell-all, who will explain her side of the story. The teaser also showed Clayton hinting that having strippers was Brandy's idea, with the rest of 90 Day Fiancé cast asking why his sister would want to sabotage his relationship. The camera showed Brandy doing the stirring a pot gesture, perhaps implying she wanted to spice up the celebration. 